Lirena Garcia Hordo. She said, Call me Lucy, in July of 2008, when she posted a cry for help on her personal blog. That's the year when in Spain her story went viral. Her past, her life, everything precious to her was gone. Lirena Garcia was a desperate woman, lost on a strange earth, our earth. Lucy, as she wants to be called, is a professional businesswoman. At 41 years of age, she says, she was transported from her apartment on an alternate earth to her apartment here. She calls this incident, The Jump. Lucy woke up in March of 2008 to find that her bed sheets were different from the ones she went to sleep on. She noticed that her nightshirt was different too, but she ignored this. The shirt was probably one of her boyfriends. Besides, she was late for work. Finally, she found her car. She hadn't parked in that alley for half a year. Ever since she left her ex-boyfriend, Miguel. That was where he always parked. She drove to the office building where she worked. A strange man was sitting in her office, in her chair. And apparently, he had also put his own nameplate on her door, her office of 20 years. She sat down in the company lobby and opened her laptop. The company webpage said that, that she works in another department, on another floor. She didn't even recognize the name of the department head. But now, she had to speak with him for the first time. She called in sick. She walked around the corner to find the little bistro she normally frequented for lunch. It was still there. Everything on the inside was exactly as she remembered it, including a dark stain in one corner on the hardwood floor. She asked for the usual. As usual, they got her order wrong. As she sipped her espresso, she examined the contents of her purse, including her driver's license and all her credit cards. They were all there, just like she remembered. But, but when she pulled out her company ID, it reflected her new position, and her company's logo was a different color. On the same day, she went to see a doctor on a walk-in appointment. After hours of waiting, the doctor told her only that she tested completely negative for alcohol and negative on the drug screens. Soon, she would seek a psychiatrist, but for today, she gave up and she went back to the apartment she had rented for the past seven years. She wanted to check her email and did so on her cell phone at the kitchen table. Suddenly, she felt fear. If she was able to access email, that meant her password here was the same, exactly the same as on that other world her real home. She looked around her apartment, some clothes in her closet, which were really nice. She had absolutely no memory of buying. She found her jewelry box out of its normal place. And the lamp 
she bought last week had gone missing. Then she realized that her boyfriend, Augustine, should be home. And he lived just down the street. But Augustine did not live there anymore. And there was no sign of his son, either. Goodbye, City Life! This is where Lucy's life turned upside down. Because when she got back to her apartment, she opened Miguel's closet. All his clothes were still there. She ran to the bathroom, only to find Miguel's drawer full of his shaving kit and his favorite soaps and his shampoo. Those were the first things he took with him the night she threw him out. Then she realized that on this earth she had never broken up with her ex-boyfriend. Before the jump she had left Miguel six months ago after a relationship of seven long years. And that still hurt. She had been with Miguel since the day she first moved into the apartment. But Lucy worked hard to find her boyfriend Augustine, with whom she knew she had a four-month relationship. She paid money to hire a detective, and she told him her whole story. He turned up nothing. But the detective helped her in other ways. He kept a stack of old newspapers, and they went through them together to discover a slightly alternate version of recent history. Much later, she tried to locate the woman who had come between herself and her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend Miguel before the jump. But that woman, like Augustine, did not exist in this realm. So Miguel must never have cheated on her. Perhaps, she came to believe, he never really cheated on her in the first place. She went back to work. Whenever a co-worker remarked that she somehow seemed different, she would say she was getting over an illness, but would surely regain her footing soon. The next professional Lucy sought out was a psychiatrist. Her psychiatrist suggested she may be suffering hallucinations due to stress. Lucy objected that she was not delusional and had no history of mental illness. In the post on her blog, Lucy swears her account is the truth. She cannot even find solace amongst her own family. This was the year her sister had her shoulder operated on. But not on this world. Same sister, no surgery. No shoulder problems whatsoever. How could this be her sister? We know all about Lucy's story because she posted it on her personal blog on July 16, 2008, along with a plea for help. She was looking for anyone at all with the same problem as hers. Maybe even someone who knows how to jump back to one's own dimension. And she begged that this person please contact her, contact her by email. I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out